So we're at Dennis. For how long have you been working with uh, Lundov audio processors and integrated amplifiers? Yeah, I think I'd be coming up on our fifth year actually. So uh, so far, it has been a blast. Awesome. Well, for me, the MP processors are um, are very unique in its intuitive uh, GUI interface, the setup, easy access, um, flexibility, mm -hmm. um, but just also the feel, the design, the tactile texture feel of that GUI interface on the computer. Um, and um, room perfect guidance, for instance, software updates, yeah. um, speaker setup files, uh, flexibility with PEQ settings, all that stuff. It's 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 a really cool interface to work yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. And also, when you're sitting inside the room working with the product, where you have to calibrate everything and set up the speakers, like you mentioned, yeah, it's really easy to sit with the GUI on the computer and yeah. do everything. Yeah, absolutely. On the, on the fly, actually, yeah. and yeah. and see everything working together. I, I have clients that uses the um, the um, iOS platform or uh, any platform, for instance, on, on mm -hmm. phones or pads or what have you, and even uh, using still the GUI interface for the everyday control, not just yeah. the app that mm -hmm. uh, that Linux is providing because it's so intuitive, easy to use. So exactly. uh, very nice. That's also what I'm hearing from our clients. That it's really easy to use the product, yeah. but also they are really liking us integrating the the products into the home automation system. Yeah, it's easy to to do everything on the network control. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a fluent, uh, kind of woven into the houses. That's yes. really great. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so controlling the, the MP processor, I mean, I, I get up in the morning, take my phone, title connect straight in, volume control, choosing everything, easy yeah. access, and in the all the ball game, a complete, you know, Savant, crystal control system integration, uh, everything is there, everything is flexible, everything is available. Um, so yeah, the flexibility of controlling these MP processors or integrated amplifiers is, is really unique and for any platforms. Yeah, agreed, agreed. We, we mostly work with the with the Vesalda and the Crestron and the uh, Control 4 apps, uh, control systems, and they are really integrated nice into the IP control of the Lumetop products. Yeah. One of the benefits of all the built-in streaming services that uh, Lumetop is providing is that you can easily, uh, for example, cast your Spotify and it, uh, it is Spotify Connect and then you can take a phone call, you can do whatever you want with the phone, but it's still playing through the internet, uh, uh, the integrated services inside the products. And that's really beneficial, so you don't have to have your phone on all the time. Yeah. When yeah. you're streaming to Yeah, very good point, very yeah. good point. So uh, what do you feel about uh, reliability on the integrated amplifiers and the uh, the MP processors from LinkedIn? Well, we have worked with uh, all, all, of, all of the different kind of uh, products and uh, it's much easier to build the rack system because the amplifiers are one unit and we, now you come up with the new one. And uh, it, it, it doesn't need that much space for us to build a rack, uh, put in, in everything in it. And uh, also the integrated uh, amplifiers are really easy to use and put into the different rooms if you have to put it out into uh, the rooms itself instead of a rack system. Got it. And also you have a rack bracket for the 1120. So you can put it into the rack system on, on the on the wide angle, if you like, yeah. and then you can have four on a row, yeah. and that's really easy. And uh, so far, we haven't had any faults in the last five years. Awesome, so high liability, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. And also, I think the heat dispersion is not that bad in them. Yeah, no so, fans in there either, no, no physical exactly. movement in there, it's no, all so passive so, cooling. So they're, quiet and and they're, they're, yeah. so they're quiet when you have them inside yeah, the living room exactly. area, yeah. for example, the furniture. Yeah, yeah, both in the furniture, but also in your audio system, yeah, there's exactly. no fans, physical noise no, exactly. in there, no. and, and, and that's, uh, yeah, for sure, that's pretty awesome. And pretty low BTU measurement as well, not too warm, not running no, exactly. too hot for your exactly. for big cooling. And all also right. the SDA amplifiers are looking great in the rack. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Yeah, yeah okay, thanks. So for me, I have the pleasure of really seeing some beautiful big theaters in, in the U.S. and do the, the White Glove Steinway uh, calibration treatment. And I'm in some of the most beautiful engineered rooms in the world, beautiful acoustic rooms. Um, for me personally, of course, some of the best processors, speakers, and, and power decks in the mm -hmm. world. And I've not been in a room for the last 10 years where Room Perfect did not save the day at the end. It oh, is exactly. such a powerful tool. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't calibrate myself personally out of that as much as Room Perfect can. No, it's quite also, unique. Also, every, every, every package comes with the microphone in it. 
So it's, you always have a full kit when you unpack the product. Yeah. So that's really nice. Yeah, stand, microphone, yes, and cable exactly. comes with yeah. every product. Even the small streaming M20, it's coming with that package. It's, it's is, quite yeah. unique. It's quite yeah. unique, yeah. yeah. And also uh, the, the room perfect is, you know, when you put it into the living room area where you have the normal speaker set up, but normally people will have a kind of media wall. Yeah. And you have to place the speakers differently. And uh, if the homeowner wants the big bulky subwoofers yes. and the, the, the cinema feel, you have to put in boundary woofers. Yeah. And uh, now with Room Perfect, you can put them into the cabinets or you can put it into the floors like you showed me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Off, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. say, I mean, for me, Room Perfect, audio-wise, the room disappears, right? Everything disappears, yeah, the does. speaker integrates yeah. well. It's just it's just a big, beautiful room of just audio. It's, it's yeah. quite unique. Exactly. I had a calibration where I had um, our boundary woofers in, in, the, in, the, in the floor, uh, some grills and some in-wall speakers. Without Room Perfect, it sounded um, pretty bad. And with Room Perfect, it was fully integrated, like full range speakers on the floor. It's really crazy. Yeah. Uh, the climb was just jaw dropping after that. Yeah. And I knew after that, Room Perfect can really do magic in many difficult constellations for sure. Yeah, and the funny part is that it's really easy to do. My, my 14 year old son can kill it as good as I yeah, can. Exactly. That's how easy it is, right? So that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, anything you can share about um, integration or flexibility that work better in your world with a LinkedIn product? Well, we recently did a project with the 1120. Uh, where we put the the seven U uh, rack mount you have for that, where you can have hold the four units in the what do you call it vertical? Yeah, vertical placed for yeah vertical for yeah, yeah four eleven twenties yeah yeah, and that's Great a rack. huge benefit that you can easily mount them yeah. that way in the rack system, so it looks nice as well. But also you get the benefit of these rooms connected to the eleven twenties. Yeah. They have all room perfect in yeah. the each separate rooms. Yes. So the client can actually wear, use the home control system yeah. for using them. But he can also use them separately, directly with the Rune endpoint or his Spotify or Tidal account. Yes. Uh, and that's really a benefit because all these kids are using Spotify, so they can yeah. they don't have to use the control system. No, just through the phone and stream. Just through the phone, and yeah, and stream directly. So it combines into the home automation. Yeah. All the TV sounds is routed to that way as well to yes. the speakers, yeah. and you can use it as a separate product. Yeah, that's awesome. With your own your, your phone. Yeah, that's cool. That's neat. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. I would say when we started out with the MP50 back in the days, one of the key features for me besides, of course, from, from residential standard, but all the normal standard was that we had a, a AAS3 uh, DCI input with DB25 connector. Exactly. That was quite unique for all kind of clients with that mm -hmm. kind of DCP content. It was very unique and, and people loved it. Um, fast forward to the MP60, now with two more slots. One is a um, uh, DB25 AS3 output now. So there's still a DCI input version, but also an output to those to be compatible with having mm -hmm. a balanced uh, digitally stream out for all 16 channels, quite unique. And and last also here uh, for our Lundov Pro division, the AEX67 integration with Dante and Dolby compatible. And uh, I, I know being in Hollywood, of course, and, and, and running Lundov Pro, we have a lot of Hollywood studios uh, yes, exactly. Using the MP60 yeah. with that integration, so that's that's quite unique. Yeah, also we see some Dante products coming into the residential. Absolutely, uh, we work most, yeah. and it's really unique for that. Coming now, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm.